How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming and this is a very quick uh, tips and tricks video uh, for RPG Maker MZ and this will only work in MZ for this particular thing but there's other ways to do it in MV if you're very persistent on making it work. So, uh, this is basically a system that will let you um, change your sell prices to be a value that's randomized from the base value um, to a higher percentage value in case you want to have like merchants that make extra money off of the player or to change the prices in any way you can change the algorithm and I'll get into that later but let's go ahead and take a look at this guy um, right here this potion price is supposed to be a hundred as a base value but it can go up to 150 right now um, so the prices will be base price randomly or up to 50% more expensive. So Mega Potions got a little bit more expensive here. And I was testing zero cost items, so it doesn't affect zero cost items, so that's good. So right now we can see that Mega Potions cost 2600 and the rest are at their base value. But if we leave and come back to the menu again, it re-rolls them, and you can see that Mega Potions went back to its base cost. So it's like there's a chance for the merchant to charge a little bit more for an item. It's kind of cruel on the player, but it's it's kind of like an idea that you can use to increase the difficulty if you wanted to. You can see Phoenix Downs got a slightly uh, increased price here, and so did the potions. Uh, let, let's keep testing it and show you like different uh, iterations. Mega Potions got increased there, but they, they will always roll between the base value and 50% more. Right here, they're all at base value. They typically stay at base value because of the, the way we wrote the algorithm. But if any, uh, anyway, if that interests you, let me show you how to make that a uh, very easy to do, very quick uh, tutorial here. So you're going to need a plug-in for this. You're going to use the um, Vigistella MZ Core Engine and the Items Equip Core. And then inside the Items Equip Core, you're going to go to Shop Menu Settings. And then over uh, underneath Prices, you have the option to... Write your own custom JS to determine the sell price and the buy price. And I'm going to uh, adjust the buy price right here by double clicking it. And if you double click it on a new project, you'll see that it looks very similar. The only difference is this line here. So this is a quick line that's just augmenting the price by a uh, an argument that I put in there, just a, an algorithm. So it's going to take the price and set it to the math max of, um, and what math max is going to do is pick between the base price or this algorithm that adjusts the base price, and it'll take the highest number of the two. So it'll never be um, less than its base price if you do it like this. If you wanted to change it, you can. You can change this to say uh, its base price minus um, a certain amount, minus uh, a, an equation. If you want it to be able to be lower as well, you can say price times um, 0 0.9. And this, uh, well, or like 0 0.1, that would be 10% off. So at this point, it would um, take the value between 90% of the price or 50% more of the price. So you can change this algorithm however you want. I want it to be base price is the lowest cost, but then the merchants can try to make more on the player. So it will take the highest number. This is using math random, and math random is going to roll a random number between 0 and 1. It's a long float value. It's going to multiply that by 1.5. So if you wanted to increase the price of what the merchant could sell it to, to anywhere up to 75% more, then you do 1.75. If you wanted the price to be up to double, so base price to double, meaning if the, the the value of the item is worth 200, you want the merchant to ask anywhere from two to 400, then you can do a multiplication of times two. I think we'll make it a little bit easier here. And since um, I'm, mm, I'm already increasing it a little bit, we'll go with 1.25 and that's a 25% increase in price. So if the, if the value of the item is 100, then the merchant will ask anywhere from 100 to 125. And that's basically it. There's the the code for it right there. I can put the code in the um, description of, of this video. And that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you liked it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow us on Discord. Or join us on Discord. Follow us on Twitter. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.